Thanks for choosing Starbucks. It's waiting in Santa for you. Hi, could I do a venti strawberry acai lemonade with no berries and light ice, please? Hi guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here and welcome to today's vlog. I gotta say the lighting in here may be terrible, but the vibes today are immaculate. As you guys saw, I went on a walk with Kobe this morning after we slept in. I talked to my mom for a while. Kobe and I went through the Starbucks drive-thru and then I just went home, dropped him off, had lunch, packaged up some Depop orders, and now I'm in the Whole Foods parking lot. I'm gonna go in and get stuff for Will and I to make homemade pizzas tonight and then go to the post office. And I know the lighting is bad, but I'm literally here in like a giant t-shirt and Burks don't even have a purse, just have my keys and like leftovers of my Starbucks. And I feel like it's like, I'm 17. Like I feel 17 years old. This is teenage summer vibes in the best way possible. The lighting is terrible. So I'm gonna go, let's go into Whole Foods and see what we find for dinner. We got our pizza crust and some cheese and crackers for an appetizer. Smoked cheese is my favorite. And then we got some mozzarella and then we got some fresh mozzarella. Then I got goat cheese, which is my favorite. And then Will, for his pizza, got pepperoni and banana, banana peppers. And we also got ice cream, but we already put that in the freezer. So. That is gonna be our little night tonight. You guys know our favorite at home date night is making homemade pizzas. So that's all the stuff and now we're gonna make our pizzas. Oh, and we got uh, Moscow Mules too, which is my favorite drink. And Will has sort of been stealing it and making it his favorite drink. So I got some of those. Anyway, now we're gonna make pizzas. All right guys, Whoa. okay, we very last minute decided to go out for drinks at the Four Seasons, I just got ready. I also think I'm gonna to try to film my first few TikToks this weekend, so I'm gonna put my TikTok username on the screen, go follow it, I'm actually gonna start posting and making TikToks, and I just filmed my first couple clips and it's been really fun, but anyway, TikTok has started and we're going out. I'm just wearing this black satin top from Revolve, black satin Abercrombie skirt, Balenciaga bag, don't yell at me. I got it before the scandal and my favorite heels in the world, these little Jimmy Choo's. And we are about to head out to the Four Seasons for some drinks. Hi guys, it's the next morning. I meant to vlog getting ready and ended up just talking to my mom for an hour and totally forgot to start my camera, but 
we are going to brunch. I wanted to do a quick outfit. I am just wearing this little fun flowy for Love and Lemons dress, teeny little white Prada bag, and then these little white slides. And we are heading out. We're going to brunch at the Four Seasons and we're leaving literally right now. So gotta go, but I will bring my camera and then also like I did last night, if I end up making a TikTok of it, I will just insert that into the video too. So we'll get some clips at brunch while we're there. Lighting is crazy or if my sunglasses are just really dark, but hi girlies. We are in the Starbucks and Target parking lot right now. We went to brunch this morning. You guys saw I did get some good clips and I made another TikTok. Guys, I am having a blast making TikToks. Like I understand why people enjoy making them. I think making them is way more fun than watching them. So I'm having a blast. I'll put my TikTok on the screen. Go follow it. I hopefully we'll plan to make a lot more because I love I'm loving it. Anyway, then after brunch, we ran some errands. We went to Nordstrom, did some returns, UPS store, did some returns, and shipped out the giveaway to the giveaway winner. And now we just got Starbucks. We both got Bumblebee Cake Pops because it turns out that those are the same flavor as the birthday cake ones, but they're just in cute little bumblebees. And now we're at Target and we're about to go in and get some groceries. Guys, so we just left Sephora and I'm about to film a TikTok haul. I'm so nervous. I've literally never filmed a TikTok where I've actually talked to the camera and I'm really nervous. But I also set this camera up so you guys can see what I got from Sephora too. But I'm really nervous. We're gonna try it though, okay? I don't even know how to record on here. Guys, this is literally the first time I've ever talked to a TikTok. So hi, hi besties. I'm just gonna pretend I'm talking to like my two best friends that I know watch these TikToks because listen, I'm scared to talk to the camera, but we have a huge Sephora haul. So First things first, I got a new foundation brush. I got the Sephora collection. It is the 70 foundation brush. And then I got a darker shade of my powder contour. I used the Make by Mario as the liquid one. And then I got a darker shade of the Charlotte Tilbury. I got it in the shade three because thank goodness we have our summer skin coming in. So I needed a darker shade. Then I got another Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This is the color Love Trap. It's like one darker than Pillow Talk. So again, I feel like I need a little darker look with the summer tan coming in. I got my first ever Patrick Ta blush. It's called She's Blushing. It's one of the lighter ones. I like a more subtle blush. So I got this blush. This is kind of boring, but I re-upped my moisturizer. I use the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. Got another Dior lip oil in Raspberry. All the girlies know this is an obsession. And then I got a Makeup by Mario brush. This one is barely blushing. Again, I love a very subtle blush. And the last thing best for last this is so cool i got a patrick ta liquid eyeliner in the color copper gold i just thought this would be so fun for like nude natural eyeshadow looks so i got this in copper gold and this was really fun and i love you guys and thank you for watching i did not just mess up my last word watching what do i do cut it out ah! okay vlog we need to turn the air conditioning back on i'll see you guys at home hi girlies I don't remember the last time we chatted. Maybe in the car when I did the Sephora haul, which I'm sorry I was not looking at this camera. I was filming the TikTok on my phone camera right next to it and I had to look in that camera, but hopefully you guys saw all the Sephora stuff. So right now it is about six o'clock and I obviously just showered. We've had a very eventful weekend. I feel like this vlog is really fun. I've loved editing it. It's really different, but it's been very, very fun. But tonight we are doing it more low key and just 
staying in. We're gonna watch the NBA. I have some YouTube emails to do. I have some homework to do, some laundry to do. You know, all the like real adult stuff that I need to do. And right now, Will, right next to me, is very nicely making a little cheese and cracker appetizer board for our dinner. So I'm probably gonna try to help him with that. And then we will have our dinner and, oh, this is what I was gonna say. I have an Aritzia package that I wanna open with you guys to end off this vlog. So right now we're gonna do like our little cheese board and dinner and stuff, but I do have an Aritzia package with a couple dresses I got to try for dinner in New York, and we're gonna try those on after dinner to end off the vlog. girlies so listen it is tuesday i think the last time i vlogged was brunch yeah or oh it was the like sephora haul and stuff on saturday yeah. on sunday we had the biggest plot twist of our lives probably since we like either met or got engaged or ever maybe it's a big one maybe ever big news coming yeah so um took a day off and then took the morning off just to kind of start dealing with that because there are a lot of huge things that have put in motion and put in motion very quickly the very fast turnaround that nobody saw coming at all so anyway we're gonna film a whole little like sit down podcast video and tell you guys what happened with that but i told you i was gonna end off this video with the aritzia dresses and we're gonna do it i have the first one on right now and i kind of think i like it it's a little bit different these are for dinner in new york I thought the silver was cool. Dinner is really hard because I am I go with my mom and you know, you don't wanna to dress too scandalous around your mom. And they're really nice, cool restaurants that we go to, but you also don't wanna look like you're trying too hard. It's a whole thing. I always struggle with it every time. But I think this dress is pretty cool. I will link it, just this little flowy mini silver. And then I would do like little black heels and a little black bag. I just like, I feel like I don't see dresses like this a lot and I don't really wear silver a lot or ruffles a lot, but I think it's kind of cool and different. Thoughts, William? It looks great. Thank you. All right, but I have one more dress because we have at least two formal dinners while we are in New York, so I gotta go put on the second dress. New York. Guys, this is a really big moment for me because I think I nailed the two dinner dresses on my first try. This dress, also from Aritzia, I think it's called the Bond dress, which is part of the reason that I liked it. I think it would be really nice to be able to wear the same heels and bag both nights, and then it just has this fun little thing in the back. I have been to both of the restaurants we go to before, and I definitely know like the silver one is fits the vibe of one of the restaurants really well and then this one fits the vibe of the other one the one i would wear this to it's called casa labor my dad goes there because he works in new york and so it's very like i don't know financy type people go there and stuff so i feel like this kind of fits the vibe of that place but don't get me wrong it has the best casio e pepe i have literally ever had in my whole life it's so good so it's literally just me, my mom, and the finance bros every time we go there. I actually recently saw a TikTok saying that if you were trying to find like date finance guys in New York, you should go to that restaurant because it's just mostly men, which I would say is true. But we're not, we just want the pasta. And I think this dress would be really good for that. Again, little black heels and a little black bag. And I will link both of these dresses below. I'm super happy with both of them. I'm keeping both of them. And this dress has pockets too, which I really like. So. This vlog has been all over the place. We literally started with me walking Kobe on Friday morning. And then we ended up going to the Four Seasons on Friday night. 
and then we went to brunch and then we ended up doing a Sephora haul and I ended up starting a TikTok and then I stopped filming for two days because our whole life is changing in not a long time. Bombshell news coming. So I'm gonna go get this edited, uploaded, posted, all of that good stuff and I will try to film the sit down or we will try to film the sit down explaining the whole situation to you guys as soon as possible and i love you guys and thank you so much for being here and go follow me on tiktok because i'm gonna try to keep posting on that a lot more and the bombshell news will definitely lead to some cool content that i think will be really fun to post on here and on tiktok so make sure you guys are following me there and i will see you guys as soon as possible but just i have a lot going on right now so i'll do my best i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'll see you soon bye